Oh, is that little? Oh, he has a little ribbon on his tail. Oh, he's a baby. He's actually a. So, are we taking care of that thing? Okay, wait, 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 wait. Let's fo not focus on the thing. Let's look at the back. Oh, ooh, there's a water area. Ooh, what is this location? Okay. Okay, he's so cute. Uh, he also does dig. What the heck? It, wait, what is that? What's the, that's a dendro? Is that a new boss? It looks like a floating totems thing. Clearly dendro. Oh, he's adorable. That thing looks like it has eyes. Oh, that. That is definitely a dendro enemy. So a new dendro enemy. This is going to I'm just going to call it right now. This is going to be the world boss f uh, to um, ascend. Um, what's his name? Kinnick? Is his name Kinnick? I think his name is Kinnick. I, I don't know how to pronounce it. The dendro guy that has the little pixel um, friend thing. That's that guy's world boss. I'm calling it right now. That's it. Okay, let's just take a quick look at each of the areas. So we have this massive giant ass viewpoint. Um, looking into Nolan, this might be the first location we, we go to so that we can just see how vast Nolan is. I'm gonna I'm gonna assume this is one of the loca first locations we get to go to to see Nolan. Just because it has such a good view and vantage point of everything, it sounds like a, it, it, that seems likely i would think um kind of similar to when we first saw fontaine we got to like we got to see the view between with the ocean in between where we were in sumeru and fontaine and we saw that giant waterfall so i think this is uh something similar i'm gonna assume that that guy is so cute if this is gonna be our little pet he's gonna replace paimon like no tomorrow <laughs> look at him he's adorable there's gonna be a plushie of this there is absolutely going to be a plushie of this. Hands down. 100, 100, 200 percent. There's just no way. I'm calling it right now. Okay, but let's move on to here. We've seen images of this area, so this is nothing special, but it definitely is like a town. So I feel like we'll be going here quite a bit. It's interesting that <clears throat> on the walls we have like art, which looks a little bit like, I don't know, hieroglyphs. I don't know if that's the right word, honestly, uh, but it also has these colors that make it also kind of look like graffiti at the same time. It's a it's an interesting take. Definitely makes all this rock area less dull and a little bit more colorful, which I think is a really smart move design wise to make things interesting. This is looking like an interesting area. I have no idea what it is. This looks like this like some ancient mining thing that's like mining the ground. I don't know if this would be an enemy or if it's just some sort of artifact type thing that's part of the area. I honestly there's, it's unclear what this is completely. If it's tied to an enemy or if it's going to be part of a puzzle. But this area is, this area is new. It looks beautiful and very interesting. Lots of like crystal structures. We can definitely see structures above us. So we're definitely not outside per se. Potentially a domain. I don't know. A cave of some sort with a lot of light emitting from the central area. But I'm not too sure. And then I got fooled there for a hot second. I thought it was like an ice area, but this is just water. Uh, but it's clearly showing that Notland just isn't all about fire and destruction. It is actually a pretty vibrant place, which makes sense because there's people living there. If it was like a dead land, there, would, there wouldn't be a lot of people wanting to live there. But there are multiple tribes in Notland, apparently. So it makes sense that there's parts that actually like signify life. So we have this like really interesting misty water area, but nothing much is shown here although the grass does look white in color so i'm wondering if there is snow maybe there's a northern part of notlin that may in the future connect to shnizhnaya i don't know and then this area this area seems pretty normal just a little a little place with two houses nothing much to go by with this one i don't think i mean there's also like white crystals which just could be regular stone but the fact that the plants have a, a little bit of white the stones could these crystals can look kind of like ice i'm wondering if there's like going to be a bit of a snow area in Notland, despite it being the Nation of Fire, which could definitely give some uh, strong emphasis on uh, uh, to the theories that Shaska might be a um, dragon of some sort in human form. 
because she may be cryo. Also, we also see the cute little creatures down there, which is super, super cute. Uh, the plants look like like Sumeru. I am definitely getting those vibes. It's like a different color, but definitely looks like looks like it for sure. 100 percent. And last but not least, we get to see what I'm assuming is a world boss for Dendro for Kinik. I wonder if that's going to be a hint that Kinik or however you pronounce his name is going to be the first one in 5.0 and that the shark girl, shark surfer girl is going to be second half. But I don't know. I am curious to see what her world boss is going to look like because it's definitely going to be Hydro, which is really interesting that the first two world bosses that we're getting for Notlin is Hydro and Dendro, which is interesting to say the least. But yeah, that's that's about it for this one. Let me know what you guys think about this little teaser. Have you noticed anything that I did not bring up? Let me know in the comments down below. But until then, that will be all for this video.